What's up guys, welcome to Wasted Space, and we're back on the rim, and as every single comment under the sun mentioned, the first thing I'm going to need to do is give myself a no roof area in this courtyard. Because that's why it's so dark. Makes sense? Yes. Yes, makes sense. However, one kind of cool suggestion which I'm going to run with, if I can, is to actually leave the turrets roofed over. The thinking being that this means that they're in darkness in comparison to everything else, and therefore they get like an intrinsic benefit to like they won't be very easy to shoot and vice versa they're going to be shooting at things that are lit and so the things they're shooting at are going to be easy to shoot now these things are actually still covered by that bit of roof so i'm going to leave them see how it goes another thing i need to do we have a name howler it's not that's appropriate, but we have a name. However, what he also now needs is some management on the animal area because, in fact, I need to clear, not expand. Because he is eating all of the things. So, can you please leave those meals alone? <laughs> can you please... Yeah, hay grass is fine. Don't eat my hill root. Don't eat... that's hay grass, hay grass. Don't eat this heel root either. This is mine. And don't eat that or that. Leave it alone. The other thing I should be doing is... Let's get wood back inside because that is deteriorating. I keep forgetting. So, raw resources. Some wood on the go there. What else was pointed out? Yes, cooking tables. Didn't set any bills up on this one. Did set bills up on this one. Then did silly things like forget to set minimum cooking skill on it. So, yeah, that's not ideal. Just check they're both... They've both got allow rotten turned off like they should. That's good. Now, one possibility for this area here, and I think I quite like it, is if we delete a bit of the zone at this end, we can put down a new zone here. This is purely meal. So clear all important and this can be foods meals yeah so meals end up at this end raw resources end up at that end is the sort of idea let's get this sped up a little bit there's a whole bunch of other bits and bobs i should do these rooms have not got vents so let's get some vents in here Need to big bedrooms in there as well. And I am going to open up this entire area, I think I've decided. So let's get the vents done first. Temperature, one there, one there, and last one. Good. Okay, so deconstructs. Ah, this is going to take down a lot of my wire, which is fine. It needs to kind of be put underground anyway. But not quite like that, I don't think. And let's mine out the remaining two. Now, I believe this will not all fall down. I believe. I'm not 100% certain. But the idea is this is going to become our new like communal area, basically. It's a good size. We can fit a massive... No, I didn't actually mean to build that. We can fit a massive communal area in here. Uh, you know, nicen it up, perhaps move the stockpile, make this our production zone. So, as I was sort of suggesting at the end of the last one, maybe have like a walled-in stockpile in the centre so that they don't see the, the ugly environment that stockpiles create. But then vice versa, it's going to also mean that they've got really quick access to the stockpile side of things. Meal situation is looking at... Right, one thing I did want to do, where's gravel foot? I think... Gravelfoot. See, the problem is Gravelfoot's the only person that's any good at art as well. Whereas Atomic Nom really doesn't have any other skills to mention. So what I'm going to do is Atomic Nom is just chef. Whereas Gravel can be kind of backup chef. Warden... Secondary still. Two Wardens is a good idea, I still think. Just trying to look for someone to do, like, some art. We've got some people doing tailoring, although... It's annoying that a few of our colonists are really good at everything, and then there's a bunch of people that are not very good at anything. Uh, and some of those can't even haul. Atomic Norm is doing the only thing that he is any good at. But that's fine, that's fine. So, I think in reality we've got... Gravel's going to do art when there isn't construction. Maybe let's put that up one. Tailoring 
is I can hear there's a helicopter outside. Sorry, it's really warm here today, so the window's open and you're going to have to deal with random aircraft and it sounds like there are a lot of birds in RimWorld today, apparently. <laughs> uh, yeah, who's going to do our tailoring? Who? Radish? I mean, not... No one's got good skill, so... But Radish at least has decent passion. And I do want some clothes being done, so... Let's try that as an initial thing. The other thing we could do is... Think about maybe turning these things back on again, machining table. Uh, someone also pointed out a nice idea for this is actually to set, like, a minimum artistic skill. Although, let's make sure that that's actually something that Gravelfoot's got. Nine just prevent anyone else from doing anything. So let's make this eight as the minimum. Gravel should actually go up a bit. Now, I also never put any bills on the tailoring bench, so let's get this done. We're gonna do until we have 10, that's cool. Don't know why you'd wanna limit the hit points of the things you make it out of. Does that potentially, I don't know, does that benefit things somehow? Okay, so we've got jacket, let's get pants, do until we have 10. Uh, let's get button down shirt, again, 10. And a toque for the head. Actually, we're in the desert, maybe, maybe, we, maybe we go cowboy hats. Yeah, cowboy hats for the win. Uh, do until we have 10. Cool, that should all be about right. Anyone can work on that, but I don't think I've got anyone else set to it. Tailoring? Oh yeah, I have. Nope. Leave the tailoring to the person I want to do the tailoring, please. That's kind of okay. What else is on the list? Oh yes, Max's floor's getting smoothed. Is that enough to... wind him up about his bedroom? It looks like it hasn't like necessarily negatively impacted him, but it's removed the old benefit he used to have for having a like ugly bedroom, basically. It's kind of okay. He's got the forced worn um, shield, which is why he got worn out apparel. I don't want to get rid of that. Still, auto door is broken down. Right, now this is all opened up now, so let's get stuff hauled. This is all going to get moved eventually, this stock prob, probably to over here. Let's also put in some new doors for these fellas, because this is pretty inefficient. So, let's just have a door there, and a door there, and we can also deconstruct those to discourage them from wanting to go through the bedrooms and disturbing their sleep. And then we can some sandstone doors on these spots. All these ones back in again. Should make things a little more efficient. Suppose while I'm at it, I could also do those. Low medicine, low food. Yep, I'm aware. Don't have enough space chairs wise either, but that's again something I will be sorting out this episode as we sort out this new common room area. Uh, also wanted to potentially put a cooler through this wall. So we've got loads of steel here, so that's a good opportunity to get rid of some of it too. That extra door there should keep things okay. This is steel, this is marble. That's made out of the right stuff, that's fine. This is, that's all steel as well, really. Okay, let's do that too. So much steel kicking around in the base. Maybe double wall over this bit, don't know. Either way, right, this is going to temporarily open up the fridge, which is... It's going to open the fridge onto the plants area, which is not ideal. Oh, there was a question asked about why I had switched everything over to rice and then went back to potatoes. The thinking was, the rice was growing really quickly. We needed food really badly, really urgency, urgently. So I went with rice to begin with, but potatoes, I think, give a greater yield. Now, that disagrees with something that someone says in the comments, so I need to have a look into it. But basically... The suggestion was actually rice is the most efficient thing to be doing in hydroponics. Don't really know about that. We're going to have to mess around and experiment to find out. That should be good there. Get them to build that. And then 
In reality, we're going to want to deconstruct this and rebuild this really quickly. Kind of almost want to either make this room full of hydroponics beds or clear it out a bit so they can run through it better. But that's a, that's a long-term project. We have a colonist idle. How do you use idle? Let's deconstruct that and get the cooler in ASAP. Get that cooler done. All we've got to do is put enough down that it seals the room back up again. And things will be fine. There we go. I believe that's all that it takes to actually seal the room back up again. That now counts as existing. Temperature's dropping down back inside the fridge. Bit odd that it works like that, but apparently it does. Right, these guys have all got vents. Cargo pods. With muffalo leather in them. Relatively close. Ooh, there's some hunting to be done. Let's get that done. People are correct when they are telling me to hunt while it's still animal season. If we've got this stuff kicking around, we should be getting the meat while we can. And look, there's loads of it. Any more drone trees kicking around? I know you guys don't like it when I kill the camels, but... We need the meats, man. We need the meats. I think that might be it for camels. Either that or I am being blind as I always am. That loot, five camels. Who is on hunting? Ash, or Radio Radish. Ash looks like a good option, although hauling will take priority, so let's pop Ash up. Ash has got a decent gun, little pain, feeling bad. What are you in pain from, sir? You're missing your pinky, oh. <laughs> I'm not sure that's worth particularly large amounts of effort, honestly. <laughs> Okay, in here, we're going to want some floors, and we can't smooth this, I don't think. Or we can smooth some of it, but not all of it, so I'm tempted to not use that at all. So what else have we got in here? Another question is whether or not putting sterile tiles in the fridge helps. It's a really expensive thing to do, so I'm wondering about that before going ahead. But, it'd be interesting if it does help. So what do we do in here? Silver tiles, very expensive. Metal tiles, beauty of two. Smooth floor I don't think tells you what the beauty is. No, it doesn't, which is kind of annoying. The other options we could use would be... Cheap, but neutral and slow to build. Ugly. Long time to lay. Sandstone is only two again. So in reality, that's no better than the metal, but obviously it's a little bit more free for us to use than the metal. We got marble too. Does marble any nicer? No. Uh, I reckon marble's quite a pretty thing to use. Although we're using marble for the statue, aren't we? Yeah, let's not use marble. Let's use sandstone. I'm going to get this entire area in here sandstone tiled. I think that's been smoothed in there. Don't know. And then I might end up dooring down that side. I suppose these guys could also get some similar treatment for their bedrooms. That might be quite pleasant. That's a lot of tiling to do. <laughs> and then we can slowly start shifting stuff down. I think this thing... I can turn this off now. I think this room's going to end up becoming a... Like, just a full-on battery backup room. Get more batteries up there, make sure everything's good. That should work nicely. You guys want me to cover up this with a wall, apparently, because that's going to help. Uh, the other thing I should be doing here is finishing off this stuff, which invariably is going to result in someone getting trapped inside. You know it is. But whatever. I'll set them to it and then we'll see what happens. Oh, actually, lay laying these sandstone tiles does not take as long as I was expecting. I kind of made out like that was going to take forever and really didn't. Didn't? Didn't? Making words up as I go along. Nice, getting tailoring done. Superior. People picking up immediately. <laughs> that is good. Do want to extend this out as well. Group of travellers with nothing to trade. That's fine. Uh, oh, that's the hunting. That's the hunting. We're okay. Where is the hunting happening? Ash, there. Good job, sir. I like how the AI now actually runs up to finish them off. Didn't used to do that. 
Sandstone there, please, as well. I'll break through, make that side of things easier. The food supplies are looking okay. Could be worse. They're onto the lavish meals. We've got 50 standards, so it could clearly be a lot worse. More cargo pods with mega spider meat. I think we'll take that, actually. Wow, yes, we'll definitely take that. That's, like, right there. Let's also... So you're smelting metal from slag. That's kind of important, but probably not as important as dissembling the mechanoids. So let's turn this one back on again for now. Visitors with items to trade. So like, what are you going to have to trade? Not much. <laughs> A couple of components. Well, whatever. We will roll with it. That stuff's all getting done quite nicely. Do we have any cotton now? No. I should make sure that cotton's turned off on here. No cloth. Need that for the pool tables. Oh yeah. It's more hunting, isn't it? It's a shame. How's this Rumbo's training going? Ages. Should do release as well, I guess. Are they in easiness order, I wonder? It would make sense that they were. You guys will have a better idea about that than me, I'm sure. Kieran is just desperately trying to go to bed, but no. But no. Get your ass out there and talk to that man. Because we want to buy his components, if nothing else. And sell him something, maybe? Not really. Looks like mostly we've just got our stuff that we want to keep. That's fine. And we'll just take components then, sir. Not looking too shabby. I don't want to crowd them with things to do and get this place too busy. There is a question as well of whether or not I wall this off or whether I leave it open. Now, leaving it open has got some advantages, but it's also got some disadvantages, like fire and the like. I could also potentially get rid of this bit of wall here, for example. There's a, a few different bits and bobs we could do with this that might make it cooler. But anyway, I should also check my list. Uh, so a table from my food. Oh, hello. Mad animals. Mad animals. Come to me, my meat. Come to me. So, let's get everyone into area one. Let's get... Some of these turrets turned on. Shouldn't need all of them. Everybody should get their ass back, even if they're outside. There's some shooting going on somewhere. Who is not in the base? Or is it our visitors? I think it's our visitors, our guests. Where did they end up then? Hmm. Aha! Here they are. Fighting off the iguana. Or iguanas, even. Bit of meat, we'll take that. Visitors. So many visitors. Max is idle, that's because they're locked inside. Are any of these animals actually going to come in to me? Did I force open the door, or is it still... Uh... No, the door's held open, so there is a route into the base. They're just... They do this weird thing where they just mess around outside. The animals don't seem to be able to work out that actually coming into the base is a good idea. Are you still angry? Yeah, quite clearly still angry. Oh, and that one's coming in. Ash, run. Don't get beaten up by a lizard. Lizard that's faster than you. And this one's coming out to get Ash as well, isn't it? Damn it. Move it, bro. Shit. Ah, damn. Fine, guys. We're going out. Mission time, folks. Gotta go and rescue Ash.
That's right, get out. Oh, Jesus. Uh, that one wasn't quite as uh, good as I was hoping, but hey. Uh, right, everyone else seems fine. Kieran, go and rescue Ash quickly. You guys finish that off. <laughs> wow. Check that efficiency. They got it on lockdown. Is that all the animals, I wonder? Probably. Yeah, these aren't manhunters, so... They are going to get hunted, but... They are not manhunters, so let's get the restrictions off again. Care a bit for these guys. Oh, Kieran's still drafted. I like how the, uh, the thrombo comes to protect him. I approve highly of that. You guys all right? Yeah, you guys are fine. Hunterlax weapon. Yeah, that'll be Ash, won't it? Indeed. They have not locked themselves in yet. Yeah, and once this is done, I'm going to extend the uh, hospital literally the whole way across, I think. We'll make rooms down this side a little bit more difficult. How do I run a corridor to extend this? Do we just leave a corridor on the edge here, around the hospital, perhaps? Do we have doorways through the hospital? It will mean that they get disturbed sleep all the time, so you want to try and avoid that. Nice. Look at that. Look at that. Looking good. Hunter lacks weapon. Ash is up and ready to go. Ash, my man. Here is the good collection of weaponry. Why don't you go get yourself a charge rifle? And then sit down. Yeah. Why not? So this is being slowed down by the fact that we don't have the stuff we need for Dragon. Probably due to hauling not being done because everyone's been stuck inside the base. That's okay. Uh, right, these at the moment are not needed, so toggle the power on that. It made the noise of something going doo, but without the thing that goes doo. Boom. There's a supposed to be a thing, no? I, I don't understand. <laughs> it's freaking me out, man. A quiet and peaceful colony, being slowed down big style by sandstone. How's statue work going? Eh, going. Not necessarily very fast, but it is going. So what are you guys doing? Clearing out the mess that's down there. That kind of makes sense. I'm not sure I approve of the order you're doing it in, but hey. More hunting going on. That is targeted for hunting. So is that. What about these two? Yep, yeah, let's get you guys hunted as well. More visitors. You clearly quite like me. Lots of sandstone up there. Let's grab that. Any more animals to hunt? Leather there, not particularly important. You can go and grab that corpse just fine. Beaver skin. I don't think collecting that stuff's particularly high priority simply because we are producing plenty from the hunting and we're growing cotton as well so in theory we're going to start getting cloth too I am not seeing any animals out here Ooh. I'm seeing one animal out here cool that'll do that'll do no idle because everyone's running around the map Trying to get stuff done. Hocker, sir, do you have anything interesting for us? No. Roger that. Lots of people, uh, one, oh, a few people mentioning about the fact we haven't done any research in ages. That's because right now, there's not a huge amount of this stuff that we particularly need. So let's sort of level everything else out and then I'll worry about some of this. I mean, we can get brewing and so on going soon, but I don't want to research mortars until we're really ready for it. Because as I've mentioned before, I think it does have like an impact on what the storyteller does. 
Uh, like, I don't think it's a good idea to build mortars really early if you're not ready for the sort of fights that building the mortars will bring. That's looking pretty inefficient. Oh no, they're doing dumping, etc. A pirate merchant, Kieran, do in the fridge. Roger. Let's go call the pirates, see if they've got anything interesting for us. Seldom an armor vest and a silver military helmet. But, as far as things we want from them, it's just components. Which is fine. Ooh. Alright, Jade deteriorates outside as well. I did not know that. So, raw resources. No Jade out here, please. Yes, in here. And I would quite like one of you guys to move that immediately because it's almost dead. And I might want to make statues out of it or something. It's fine. So, cook-wise, we had the pair of chefs. Good. So that means that... I suppose Gravelfoot's pretty wrapped up on art. More cargo pods. Monkey hide. Whatever. Steel situation is okay-ish, actually. I mean, we've got some there. In theory, that should be quite a bit. Should just go through, but actually, at the moment, we're looking all right. Graves, however, not so much. It's quite a graveyard. Enemies of the colony, beware. We, that's all getting done. I guess thanks to that influx of blocks we went and fetched rather than anything else. It does seem to make the inside kind of dark. Uh, some good efficiency right there. Good call on this. I also, some people are mentioning they think, I don't think it is smaller than the old fridge because we were only using this half of it. It might be. It might end up being too small, in which case my natural process would be to extend this direction, I think. Just open the whole thing up. Break down cooler. Uh, I'm not even sure that one should be... No, it's not on. Oh, turned off, so that doesn't matter. That is for the winter months. Other things on the list. What have we got? Air vents, thrown by foods, common room... Skill cap meals... Max's bedroom floor. Let's just check, see what he reckons. Well, he's not complaining about his bedroom. That's, that's fine. People still trying to train the hum thrumbo to haul with limited results. Radish tailoring like a boss. Nice, nice. Lots of stuff's just breaking down. Still haven't done that. Oh, yeah, because we're still limited by sandstone blocks because Dragon is going as fast as Dragon can. Is there no way we can ensure that this has chunks in it? But there's all these chunks out here. Why aren't people... I suppose they're probably not considered to be mine. Let's go and stockpile that area. On low, clear all raw resources and chunks. And then we turn off jade and we turn off hops and we turn off wood. Now that should, in theory, mean that that's now considered to be our stuff and other people should start hauling for dragon. Because the fact that dragon's actually having to go out and get stuff to cut herself is not ideal. Radio Radish, stone cutting. Yeah, why not? Mechanoids are getting dissembled. Common room is kind of getting there. Can you move tables? You can, yeah. Sweet. So I reckon we have the table at this end, right near the... Uh, the cooking area, whatever you want to call it, the kitchen. 
maybe we have two tables next to each other. We're going to have a nice room for pool table and the like. And he wants it to look pretty. Hey, Ray, look, I'm busy making my blooming common room pretty. Can you go away? Come back later, maybe. I got rid of it before I was going to see what they were going to do. Are they sappers? Are they other things? No one knows. I'm about to steal the table they're all sitting at. Maybe I should build another one. Seems like a better plan. <laughs> Cool, nice marble long table. How are these going to fit nicest in this room? Having next to each other, big long table, that could be kind of cool. Put that there, and that one would go there, maybe one up further, one across further. Down the centre? Down the centre seems kind of cool. Yeah, we'll do that because we're going to break down this table now. Not enough marble stored, so that means we're also going to need to add marble chunks back onto that. And let's go see what our raiders are doing. Down they come. What are you fellows all about? Well, you don't look like sappers. Oh, actually, I take that back. Grenades and triple rocket launchers. Maybe these guys are sappers. Interesting. Let's observe what they get up to. Broken down solar generator. A few of these guys are just wandering. These guys are on the moon. I think they are coming straight for us. I cannot, for the life of me, decide if they are sappers or not. They look like they could be, but we've had raids like that try and come in the front. So about now, I'm going to be able to see what they're about. Either they go this way or they don't. That, to me, is very much they don't. Cool. In which case, fellas, we're moving out. Just check everyone's suitably equipped. This is Kieran, he is not who we want. So these guys, where are they going to head? Like straight for this corner, perhaps? Is there anywhere where there's a single block? That should be okay. That's two blocks, two blocks. Yeah, that's still... I'm not seeing any noticeable weak areas, so I really don't know where they're going. Someone recommended I build a sapper trap, which is basically, like, intentionally have an area with a one thick wall and then on the other side of it have a load of turrets and, like, encourage them to come to that. Now I think maybe I should have done so. Because they've got those stupid, like, quad rocket launcher things that hurt like all hell. Uh, I also have decided that we need a way in and out of this area from within this area. Having to run the entire way around is silly. So that needs to happen at some point. Let's also build this stuff in before I forget about it. Right, those guys are all marked to go outside. Ash and Amber. Because I don't think, what I don't want to do is send everybody outside and then have no one inside. So, in fact, let's keep the charge rifle patrol on the inside. And the melee guys can be inside as well. And let's get the long-range fellas outside. So, Jürgen, Radio Radish with the mace. Addy doesn't have a gun at all at the moment. I guess you're getting poor survival rifle, my friend. Uh, gravel's melee, so Gravel can stay in and get down here. Let's get the restrictions all to area one for now as well, just in case I've missed anybody. And I guess let's get... where's Kieran? Let's draft you and get you somewhere safe but nearby so the thrumbo's kicking around. Where do you guys want to go? You're just going for this corner. Yeah, they're just going for that corner. Which means they're going to come through into the prisoner room, which means if we're going to meet them somewhere, it should really be down this corridor. Anyone else coming indoors? Should be going around 
around outside, I think. Maybe going around outside is a bad idea entirely, but we'll have to see. We do have the turret that can shoot down this corridor as well, which is always good. Okay, let's see some movement from you fellas. Jürgen, you should be going outside, my man. Anyone else just standing around, not moving? No, everyone's good. Amber, what are you equipped with? Can't even remember. A survival rifle? Outside with you. Kaboom! Mick, I'm going to need you... Let's have you in here with gravel. Because they are going to get through that wall. Trader from Uncle's Town. Uh, Max, let's get you down here with gravel foot as well. It's going to take him a little while to get through the second door, so I'm alright. Should buy these guys time to get around outside too. That's a nice surprise for anyone who tries to come in that room. You got Atomic Norman, Ash, and the turret all ready to set up. We have Kieran with the Thrumbo. I almost want to put Thrumbo Kieran down there, so the Thrumbo's literally there. And then we've got a bunch of these guys kicking around outside with relatively short-range weapons. Of any of the yeah, the triple rocket launchers are not ideal. Jürgen, where are you going to be able to shoot from? Maybe on that corner? The first of them is in. Can you not reach from there? No, not even close. Not massively happy with this. What are you doing? You're just going to blow stuff up in here. You know, you're going to go through that wall there, really? Interesting choice. That could end both badly for us and good for us. Jürgen's almost in range. Do you guys want to move up a bit? Jürgen, still more. Oh, hello. They're going straight into the traders. I'm starting to regret having these guys in this room. Pull out quick, guys, and hopefully they don't get... Oh, there's about to go through that. I don't want a head-on fight like that there. Shigeko is survival rifle. Dragon behind there. Can you guys... Out of range. Interesting. So, it technically can't shoot at us either. Okay, risky moment. Risky moment. These guys are going to try and run out of the room in time. Ooh, now that looks like they may have just about stopped. Yep, yeah, that's good. Those guys have <laughs> captured Doc outside on his own. These guys are all pulling back to that room, which is cool. They're causing a bit of havoc, but that's fine. Nice, nice, nice. Stop just blowing up bits of our base. Did you just nuke your own... No, that was an uncle's town. Okay. These guys should all be getting good shots in on these fellas. I reckon they're going to break and run soon. I don't know if uncle's town are fleeing. What are you guys doing? Maldonado. Maldonado cart. You're going to blow up your friend. Good job. Uh, the fight outside is going well. Yes. Yes, that's going to work. Dodge backwards and forwards. No, no one will get you there. Pirates are fleeing. Uncle's Town are fighting, by the looks of things. What a mess. What a mess. Did anyone survive that? No, of course they didn't. <sighs> Rubbishy weapons even. An incendiary launcher. Yeah, that's just what I want. What a mess. Damn it. 
Okay, so a wall there. After this, I am most definitely building a sapper trap. Uh, I guess I'm rebuilding the furniture in here too. I haven't got any medical beds in there anyway, so that probably needs to be sorted regardless. Kieran, off drafting and restrictions off. Okay, and then I guess someone nearby, like Atomic Nom, can you go and... No, not cleaner. Oh, Max is on it. Okay. I don't know why my steel dining chair is on fire, but apparently it is. <clears throat> okay, we saved the dining chair. Alright, let's speed this up, fellas. Get this rubbish cleared up, because right, this is outside now. It's not ideal, really, is it? I think when someone wakes up, first priority, in fact, before someone wakes up, first priority, go and put the basics of that blueprint down so that we've actually got the wall sealed off. Let's reconnect that so it turns itself off. No. The sandstone wall, please. No, no. Why did you put the sand, the blocks in, not the thing I asked you to do? Can you put the... Can you put them in here? Hey! <laughs> Weird. Okay, so... But why is it not... Not enough stored. Okay, there you go. It's a bit... It's freaking out a bit. If you, like, don't move your mouse away quick enough, it, like, doesn't count it as moving, and it just brings up this menu instead. It's slightly annoying, and it's how you end up building silver things half the time. By mistake. <laughs> Okay, that's better. That's better. A bit derailed from what I was doing, but that's fine. I was kind of just finishing off this place, wasn't I? So, lots of steel dining chairs. These are all in, these are all pretty good ones, aren't they? Most of them. Let's uh, deconstruct the poor one and the shoddy one. Let's reinstall these down here. one and then let's get some more yes as I thought you have to make them out of steel don't you Can you put armchairs at tables I think that would look a bit odd to be honest a table for a feast no less nice Progress. Oh yes, yeah, more corpses. Including silver, we can't be ignoring that. Is there any deaths over down this area that I missed? Nope. Oh, that's looking alright as well. This is all looking okay. Quite like them to get the stuff finished, but it looks like... What is this? Priority critical. This should just be... Yeah, sandstone chunks. Just nobody is interested in moving any there. As I said, I, I suspect it's because it doesn't consider these to be ours for some reason, which is just really odd. And at the moment, as suspected, they're eating in here. They go and sit, and sit down up here for joy time, but they're eating down there, most of them. Even though there's a pile of meals in the corner. It does mean that I could copy these settings and move it down here relatively easily. Ooh, almost got our first statue. Now given given how long we've been going for, this is a good time to end the episode, so maybe I'll call it when this statue finishes. Hopefully that gets done today. Let's see what it is. We always get some funky message with it. <laughs> Nice, and we're just going to have to slowly worry about prettying this area up and moving, say, the power cables into the walls. Some kind of... 
along like that and then we can take the ones out of the room. Same with this one, once we've got walls down the edge there we could do that. Did our sculpture finish? Not quite. But yeah, get that built in the wall, clear out the room so it's nice and pretty. That should be good. I mean, it is connected outside as well, so I can safely get rid of that. All right, this is going to be a bit of a pain. Ooh. Okay, I was slightly incorrect. And an eclipse has begun, but that's fine. They should literally just put that steel from there into up there and connect this stuff back on again. Come on, quickly! Guys, build build my uh, my power conduits. Wow, Max Max has literally got the whole lot there. Party! Sorry, Max, you don't get to go to the party until the conduits are all built. And this is a really sensible way of doing things. I love it. Is that it? Yeah, there we go. There we go, and an eclipse should also mean that let's go and turn our switch back on again. Get that converted over. Still have our party spot, don't we? Yep. Yeah. Sweet. Okay, so... And our sculpture's done, so as said, I will finish. Where is he? Marble sculpture, normal. By Gravelfoot. Title, Trouble Number 5. This work portrays Suburu Kieran Sharp, recruiting Earl Hindsight Liquing with obvious goodwill. Hindsight is nodding in understanding. The work is shaded in hues of purple and black. The scene seems to take place on the outskirts of a community. This artwork refers to the recruitment of Hindsight. You said that. And yes, of course it takes place on the outskirts of this one. Still, our first piece of art. Look, it's got Beauty 43. Let's, for the time being, because you can always uninstall these things again, uh, I think I'm going to move the lights into the corners. So let's have a bit of art by the door. By the door there, by the door there, down here in the corner by the light. At the end of the table. God knows. Let's have art in the corners and lights next door. And also, what a good place to call it. Some good progress made. Fought off a sapper raid without too much difficulty. No real casualties, despite perhaps making a slightly wrong call to meet up and get ready to wait for them in this room. Uh, we have begun work on the new common room, which I think is going to be nice and impressive. Convert this area over to purely resource and sort of production. And I think that makes sense. We can get the stockpile up there, clear out the middle so it's a lot more attractive for everybody. They're getting less negatives. Uh, did a bit of work in the fridge, which I would say is working out pretty well, did some hunting, and yeah, fix the roof. <laughs> How are these things doing? These light level 50%, so yeah, some of these are just not going to grow at all, so I might want to do something about this roof thing here, maybe, because the intention is to have the turrets back here anyway, so maybe we'll sort that out. Either way, hope you enjoyed this one guys, if you did, as usual, please hit like, please hit subscribe, it does really help me in the channel out, and if you didn't, then dislike buttons just down there, you know where that is, but please also hit me up in the comments and give me some idea of how I can improve, how I can make this more interesting and better for you. So thanks a lot for watching guys, and I will catch you next time. Thank <laughs> you.